If you want to discover the amazing integration between Pixelmator and Picto, you've come to the right place. Pixelmator is a phenomenal app, a star among all the uh, image editing apps on macOS, and we are thrilled to make Picto its best catalog companion ever. Let's dive in and find out what are the cool things you can achieve now with Pixelmator and Picto. If you are a Pixelmator Pro user, let's look at uh, what Picto has in store for you. First of all, you notice that there is a, a section in the sidebar called Editing Workspaces, and this is where we put all the apps for which we have specific integration, and Pixelmator Pro is uh, now available here in the latest uh, version of Picto. What it means is that if I click on Pixelmator Pro, or if I click on all versions, it does the same. It's going to look for uh, all the sources that I have uh, registered in my um, in my Picto catalog, and it's going to look for Pixelmator Pro files in those sources, more specifically in the folders. Um, so if, you, if I look at this uh, watched folder that I have here, uh, it contains varieties of subfolders with lots of file types, and there is one uh, subfolder that contains specifically Pixelmator profile. Well, if I click on here, it's going to surface all these uh, Pixelmator Pro documents for me. So that's very convenient because I can find, find them really, really quickly. If I click on last edits, it's going to sort them based on the uh, editing date. So I, I'll find the, very easily find the last one I've been working on. And then there is a section called work folder, which is currently empty, which is, uh, this is a folder that um, Picto creates for you. Uh, and this is where the new documents that you create from Picto uh, in Pixelmator Pro format are going to be put. And we're going to see that in a, in a minute. For now, let's go back to, uh, let's go back to this uh, Pixelmator Pro files here. What's really nice is that not only do you find and do you catalog those Pixelmator profile, and you can see that you can you can you get access to the preview, but you get access to the super high resolution preview. And um, if you look at at that file, if I zoom in, it's super crisp. It's actually exactly the same preview as you get if you're running in Pixelmator, and this is generated on the fly. If I click here, for example, it's going to take a few seconds, and then it's super crisp. And this is uh, achieved by actually asking Pixelmator on the fly to generate the highest resolution preview. So that's great. You 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 don't lose anything by uh, looking at those files uh, from within uh, from within Picto. And of course, I can always click on on one of those files and go into Edit in Pixelmator Pro, and I have, I have access to uh, to all my all my layers and everything that I've done uh, uh, on that file. So cataloging, browsing in super high resolution, all your Pixelmator profile within Picto, and then launching Pixelmator in a very easy, uh, in a very easy way. That's the first thing uh, you can do. Um, now let's look at uh, a different scenario where I've uh, selected a few images from various locations, various catalogs, like in this case, uh, these images are coming from, um, from Capture One. And let's say I want to edit one of those images. Uh, what I can do is I can simply drag it into the work folder. And uh, this is going to, first of all, put the image in the work folder, and then it's going to launch Pixelmator Pro on that image. Here I'm going to use the repair tool to uh, remove the uh, this object here. I'm also going to remove that little antenna here. Okay, so I'm done. I'm going to save that document. And if I go back uh, to Picto, it's synchronizing the image. And uh, here I am with the, uh, with the repaired image. So I can really use uh, Pixelmator to, uh, um, to, to uh, edit my images in, inside uh, of Picto. I can drag several images at the same time if I want to add them all to my work folder. So whenever I do that, it's 
going to create a pixel meter pro document inside my work folder uh, with those uh, initial images they are all raw files um, let's go to the work folder to just to see how it looks like so it contains now four pixel meter pro documents created from my uh, from my images and as you can see each image has uh, a raw layer that is uh, that contains the uh, the original so i can uh, i can do things uh, take the subject I'm going to invert the selection the selection and then I'm going to um, maybe to change the exposure um, well I can do all sorts of things here using pixel meter and doing pixel perfect uh, editing on those images as soon as I save Victor is going to update with the the new image and uh, one of the nice thing as I get as well is the uh, this new uh, version of that image which is created in pixel meter is now um, added to the instant uh, so I have access to both to the original which is in capture one and uh, to the uh, to the pixel meter pro document and this is true for all of them as you can see here it's just telling me that I'm I'm looking at one out of um, uh, out of two versions for for each of these images so you can you can go wild really with uh, with pixel meter pro um, and the last thing I'm going to to show is I'm going to create um, a new document uh, let's try to do something like uh, like a poster like this one for example so here I have uh, my um, my poster I'm going to use uh, picto again let's go to um, to this image for example I'm going to use this one I'm going to drop it here so it's now using the the picto image to uh, replace the uh, uh, the layer here and um, I'm going to save that image um, into uh, into my work folder because this work folder is um, is monitored by uh, by picto all the time it's it's a quick way for for me to um, to easily add that to the catalog without without doing anything else so I'm going to save that image and go back to picto and go back to my work folder and as you can see this uh, this image uh, is uh, is now here because it's a catalog picto now also lets me um, let me annotate those images using uh, stars using uh, various things that just display all the uh, all the tags here uh, so I can annotate I can put titles and because uh, these are just standard assets inside of picto all the AI is also running on those images so if I look at uh, this image in particular and I go to AI uh, it's uh, identified that there is a cat inside uh, here probably it's found a bird so you can see everything is uh, here probably a person and an umbrella okay the, the, the hat is interpreted as an umbrella but AI, AI is running on those documents even though they are pixel meter pro documents and I get the benefit of uh, automatic keywording for for those uh, for those images uh, very easily Pixelmator has now a catalog companion and you've seen the amazing editing workflows that are now possible between any app and Pixelmator. Please subscribe to this channel if you want to get notified as we add more capabilities to Picto, uh, more editing workspace, more integrations. Um, you can also use the space below to uh, ask your questions and we'll answer them. Thank you very much for listening and take care. Bye-bye.